joining us on Real Cleveland. I'm your host Justine. Today we are talking to the Burning River Roller Girls. There are over 105 derby leagues in the U.S. and abroad. All women's leagues. These are strong, tough ladies. Cleveland's Burning River Roller Girls consists of over 100 players on seven different teams with names like the Burning River All-Stars, the Cleveland Steamers, the Hazmat Crew, the Hard Knockers, the Rolling Pinups, the Hell Bombers, and the Pyro Maniacs. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> We're gonna check them out today and talk to a few of the Roller Derby girls right here on Real Cleveland. Stay there. The game is played like such. A bout consists of two 30-minute halves. Play lasts for two minutes at a time, which is known as a jam, with a 30-second pause in between. Each team has five players on the track at a time, four blockers and one jammer. The jammers wear a star on their helmet to distinguish them from the pack, and one of the blockers has a stripe on their helmet that designates them as the pivot player, meaning if the jammer gets tired or injured, they could pass the star on their helmet to the pivot who would then finish as the jammer. The four blockers from each team will group together in a jam and start moving counterclockwise at the referee's whistle. The two jammers, one from each team, start 30 feet back. The jammers will then attempt to make it past the group or jam. Once they have, they must then skate the entire length of the track and attempt to pass the jam again. If she succeeds and passes the jam again, She's awarded one point for each of the opposing players she passes. Therefore, five points if she passes all five of the opposing team's players. She can continue to skate the length of the track and do it again as many times as she can in the two minutes. After the whistle is blown on that jam, play is stopped, the points are assessed, and each team has 30 seconds to line up and attempt it again. Have you ever been to a game before? No, I, I'm fascinated by this. <laughs> I've been bragging about you guys like all week. Have you guys ever heard of the Burning River Roller Girls? Oh my God. <laughs> You stick on one team the whole time. You never like cross into a different team. Um, you can. Um, we have a draft. We have a whole drafting system, and um, you can go back into the draft and be drafted to another team. Well, let's start over because we kind of like jumped in. Yeah. yeah. So, well, I'm gonna ask all these yeah, questions like from the very them. beginning of yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like with me, this is like I started last year, so this is only my second season. So last year I came in and I didn't even know how to stop. I that. I didn't know much, I mean, I knew how to skate, but that was, I mean, I was even, it was hard for me to do crossovers. And I started with fresh meat, and we had, what was, it was like three months yeah. of complete training, and so they call us fresh meat because we're like the new girls, 
and I just Fresh went to, meat. I went to like three or four practices a week and I learned all the different things I needed to learn. And then at the end of that, um, I had to pass a skills test and then I was able to become a Burning River Roller Girl. And then, then I could be drafted after I passed that. So did you know anything about skating before? Was that like... I grew up in the country, so I would go to the roller rinks once in a while, but it wasn't one of those things where I did it every weekend. Yeah. You weren't scared to, I would be kind of I've always, nervous. I have four brothers, and so I've always been doing kickboxing or something like that, that, um, dangerous, and I ride horses, you know, I used to ride horses, I fall off horses all the time, so I'm like, I can do this. That was wrong with you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Now she knows. Look at yourself. So when she was talking about, she comes in as I fresh meat, and head. we now have a farm team. <laughs> so it's kind of like our developmental team that they don't bow or anything, but that's where they, they're still in the league, but the, they're their own team, and they get to train. Then we have four of our home teams, which she was talking about, the Cleveland Steamers, the teams we just showed you. Mm -hmm. They play each other. So when you hear about the Hard Knockers, Cleveland Steamers, Hell Bombers, mm -hmm. and Pinups, mm -hmm. those are the teams that play each other. Anyone one that joins is automatically on the farm team, the pyromaniac. So that's automatic. So you're kind of like hanging out on there. Mm -hmm. From there, um, the home teams, four home teams, can have a draft, and there's a whole very involved process to try and keep the teams even. And you have caps, like you can only draft up to 18 people. So with all that, they take in consideration like skill level of the skaters they have. So if someone's loaded with super, super awesome skaters, they don't want to give them more awesome skaters. So they're like. No more for you, you gotta spread the love a little bit. <laughs> so is there like an interview process or something no. where you meet the person and it's like, you well, just say, all right, you get to know them because okay. their practices a lot. Yeah, you'll see them at practices because everyone yeah. skates together. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it has nothing to do with the personality, it's just no. how their performance is. Correct, yeah, correct. Right. Okay. It's a sport, I mean, yeah. we're out, every, every team is out to win. Yeah. So we want the best skaters in are you very competitive with the team? So if another team, are you, are you all on the same team? No, no. Oh, you're not? But how it basically goes is we're a league, and then we have four home teams that um, let out in Cleveland, and then there's two travel teams, an A team and a B team. Uh-huh. Run about and play yeah. other yeah. Okay. So um, like if we, all, we all have individual team practices, but we also have league practices where we're all practicing together. Matt Soza, the owner of Soza Fitness and Wellness. This is the primary training ground for the Burning River Roller Girls. Yes. What type of training do you provide here? Well, um, pertinent to the Burning River Roller Girls, I look at their sport, they're athletes first and foremost. I mean, their sport is strength, endurance, stamina, speed, agility, power, all those things. And I want to make sure when they train here, we incorporate all those things in their training regime. So to make them a better type of athlete. Uh, we also have people can walk in off the street for Zumba classes, boot camps, Pilates, yoga, uh, all different types of classes, kids boot camps, fit classes, things like that. You're open seven days a week? Uh, six days a week and yes we're, we're open on, at noon on Sundays as well. So it's, you know, they want us to be here more often so that's what we're trying to do is accommodate our clientele. So you can check our website out sozafitnessandwellness.com and you get a schedule on there and also descriptions of classes. If you're not as fit as the Burning River Roller Girls, can you still come in here and take some of these group classes and work your way up to that level? Yes. I'd worry about wor working with a group that I'm going to well, fall a, behind. That's a great question. Um, it's really up to the instructor. A good instructor will accommodate all different fitness levels in the same class through modifications or things that make it more difficult for the more advanced students. If you look around, you're not going to see machines and things like that. I have nothing against machines or treadmills, mm -hmm. but I believe your body is your machine. I believe in full body integration and functional training. So all this equipment here is designed to make you a better physically fit or athlete, if you will, as well. Like we, all, we all have individual team practices, but we also have league practices where we're all practicing together and we hang out together all the time. So like, even though like we can all be friends off the track, but when we get on the track, it's go time. You cannot be like a shy little nothing on these yeah. teams. You have to be a little aggressive. Yeah, a lot of like, like, you think librarians are kind of shy. We have, we have a lot of yeah, librarians. Know. Know. I know. I, I, you know what? She gave me her number to call back yesterday and I just figured it was like her cell number or something. So I, I call in and they're like, city library. And I went, what? You're a librarian? I love that. That is so cool. Yeah. 
Thank you for joining us on Real Cleveland. Yeah, that's not working. We learned a lot about the Burning River Roller Girls. That's not working. You'll find a schedule and more information on the Burning River Roller Girls. They are hot at burningriverrollergirls.com. Thank you for watching Real Cleveland. Yeah, that's not working.